Buntaro, as referred to in the Shogun TV show, is based on the real life of Hosokawa Tadaoki, a seasoned warrior and a man of action. The destiny of influential warlords and the intricate political terrain of Japan's Sengoku era became linked with Tadaoki's life. Despite being at war for nearly his entire life, Tadaoki was one of the most educated people in Japan in his time. Being deeply involved in the creations of weapons and armour, he was also a poet and a painter. Tadaoki's love for combat led him to become a master of martial arts, and he even invited the famed Miyamoto Musashi to his court, who would spar with him and his son, named Hosokawa Tadatoshi. Tadaoki's life was defined by battles, tragedy, and a love for culture. This is his story. Hosokawa Tadaoki was born in the year 1563 as the eldest son of Hosokawa Fujitaka, a warrior of renown who served the 13th shogun of the Ashikaga shogunate named Yoshiteru. However, in the year 1565, Matsunaga Danjo Hisahide came up with a plot to remove Yoshiteru from power. He wanted to install Ashikaga Yoshihide as a puppet shogun. The Ashikaga shogunate had long been in decline and did not have the allegiance of many of Japan's daimyos and samurai warlords. Therefore, since Tadaoki's father Fujitaka served the current shogun, being Yoshiteru, his position appeared to be sound in terms of politics and influence, but in the shadows, chess moves were being made, which left the two-year-old Tadaoki's future veiled in mystery. Matsunaga Hisahide would lay siege to Nijo Castle, where Yoshiteru lived. With no help arriving from any daimyos in time that could have supported him, Yoshiteru and the few troops under him were overrun, and the Shogun was slain. Since Fujitaka had supported the Shogun, who was now dead, he had an important decision to make, one that would secure the future of his clan. Tadaoki's father, Fujitaka, would ally himself with Oda Nobunaga, who was quickly becoming the most powerful daimyo in Japan, after a series of successful battles. Yoshiteru's cousin, Yoshihide, would become the next Shogun, but he died in the year 1568 from a contagious disease. The fallen Ashikaga Yoshiteru's younger brother, Yoshiaki, would soon enlist Oda Nobunaga to support his cause. Nobunaga and Fujitaka would march on Kyoto, using Yoshiaki as a puppet shogun. However, in the year 1573, Yoshiaki was unsatisfied with the arrangement. Craving the true power of the shogun, he tried to gain state power. Nobunaga responded by deposing the shogun publicly and forcing him into exile. This was considered the end of the Ashikaga shogunate. Tadaoki's father would rise to become one of Nobunaga's senior generals, and Tadaoki himself would serve as a retainer to Nobunaga's eldest son, Nobutada. At the age of 15, in the year 1577, Hosokawa Tadaoki joined with the Oda clan during the Kishu conquest, marking his first time going to battle. In the same year, at the urging of his lord Nobunaga, he married Akechi Tama, the daughter of Akechi Mitsuhide, who was Nobunaga's most trusted general. But Japan would change forever, when in the year 1582 Tadaoki's father-in-law Akechi Mitsuhide betrayed his lord Nobunaga and forced him to commit seppuku in the Honoji incident. He also slew Nobunaga's eldest son and heir, Nobutada. Immediately after the Honoji incident, Mitsuhide invited Fujitaka and Tadaoki father and son to his side as he was preparing to establish himself as the Shogun. However, Tadaoki and his father refused his summons. Soon after, Mitsuhide was killed at the Battle of Yamazaki by the forces of Toyotomi Hideyoshi. This ushered in a new era, as the remaining males in the Oda clan fought between themselves 
to take Nobunaga's mantle as the most powerful daimyo in Japan. Tadaoki's father-in-law had just murdered his lord and was then killed himself. The political dynamics in Japan were quickly changing, and Toyotomi Hideyoshi would assert his dominance as the most powerful daimyo in Japan. His claim to power was that he would act as regent until Oda Hidenobu, Nobunaga's grandson, came of age. Nobunaga, however, had many capable sons that could have succeeded him. However, Hideyoshi voted for Hidenobu to succeed Nobunaga. During this time, Tadaoki became an active member under the new Toyotomi government. Oda Nobukatsu, Nobunaga's second surviving son, would try to take his father's place and asked the rising warlord Tokugawa Ieyasu for aid. This would result in the Battle of Komaki and Nagakute, which Tadaoki fought in. The battles would prove fruitless, and in the end, Hideyoshi, Ideyasu and Nobukatsu all made peace, with Hideyoshi retaining his position as the most powerful daimyo in Japan. Tadaoki was not just a warrior, he was also a man of culture, in the tea ceremony that was popular at the time, he studied under Sen no Rikyu, a man who had a profound impact on the Japanese tea ceremony. Due to differences in opinion with Hideyoshi however, Rikyu was ordered to commit seppuku. Tadaoki, a man of honour, would visit him before his death, despite perhaps fearing for his life for conversing with a man who was bound to death betraying Tadaoki's strong values. Tadaoki's wife, Tama, was now the daughter of a disgraced traitor, Akechi Mitsuhide, but Tadaoki did not wish to divorce his wife, and instead sent her into exile to the mountains of the Tango Peninsula in order to keep her hidden. Tama would remain there for two years, until the year 1584, where Toyotomi Hideyoshi requested that Tadaoki bring Tama to the Hosokawa mansion in Osaka. Tadaoki found solace in reuniting with his wife Tama, but he harboured uncertainty about their stay in Osaka. Fear gripped Tadaoki, as he considered Hideyoshi's reputation as a womanizer, dreading any potential advances towards his wife. During one summons to meet Hideyoshi, a dagger accidentally slipped from Tama's person as she bowed, sending a clear signal of her discomfort. Acknowledging this subtle gesture, Hideyoshi refrained from extending further invitations. However, this incident led Tadaoki to impose strict confinement upon her once again, which basically rendered Tama as a prisoner. Tadaoki fostered a deep bond with Toyotomi Hidesugu the nephew and designated successor of Toyotomi Hideyoshi, Japan's unifier and de facto leader. Despite Hidesugu being Hideyoshi's closest adult male kin, he was accused of atrocities and plotting a coup after the birth of Hideyoshi's son, leading to his mandated suicide. Hideyoshi's decree extended to the execution of Hidesugu's entire family, including his children. Tadaoki was a suspect of having a very close relationship with Hidesugu, as he owed him money. In apprehension of facing a similar fate, Tadaoki instructed his wife Tama to take her own life, should he meet a similar end. But the danger passed, and the couple were not accused of treachery. During this time, Hideyoshi was still uniting Japan, and would ask Hojo Ujimasa and his son to attend the imperial visit to Hideyoshi's residence and office in Kyoto, but Ujimasa refused. Ujimasa proposed to reschedule the visit to spring or summer of the year 1590, but in turn, Hideyoshi refused his proposal, which worsened their relationship. This resulted in the siege of Odawara Castle, which Tadaoki took part in. Hojo Ujimasa failed to hold Odawara against the forces of Hideyoshi, and his castle was taken. He was then forced to commit suicide, along with his brother. The Hojo lands were then given to Tokugawa Ieyasu, who was now one of Hideyoshi's top generals. 
Tadaoki would also take part in the Japanese invasions of Korea. Hideyoshi initiated the invasions with the aim of conquering both the Korean peninsula and several areas in China. Initially, the Japanese achieved victories on land, seizing numerous cities and fortresses. However, their advance was eventually halted, compelling them to retreat to the southern coastal regions of the peninsula. Despite efforts by the pursuing Ming forces, they were unable to oust the Japanese from these positions. This led to a stalemate, with both sides locked in a military standoff. However, Hideyoshi would die in the year 1598, resulting in the Japanese forces withdrawing from Korea. As Hideyoshi lay on his deathbed, his son Hideyori was but five years old. Therefore, he created a council of elders to ensure a smooth succession when his heir reached maturity. Thus, Hideyoshi established the Council of Five Elders. As Hideyoshi's influence was diminished after his passing, two primary factions emerged. Tokugawa Ieyasu stood unchallenged in terms of seniority, rank and reputation. On the opposing side was Ishida Mitsunari, who garnered support from the loyalists of the Toyotomi clan and lords from Western Japan. During Tadaoki's time of need, Ieyasu lent him money to repay the Toyotomi family, and the two men grew close. Tadaoki would join Ieyasu's side, and joined his army. Their first mission was to kill Uesugi Kagekatsu, who was suspected of rebellion against Ieyasu. This resulted in Ieyasu and Tadaoki leaving Osaka Castle. In the year 1600, Ishida's forces overran Osaka, and he was able to take Akechitama hostage. Her family retainer killed her to protect her honour, and prevent her the humiliation of capture. The retainer then committed seppuku, after lighting the mansion on fire. Both corpses were then consumed by flames. When Tadaoki learned of the demise of his wife, he became even more inspired to fight. The culmination of the conflict was the Battle of Sigigahara in the year 1600. The clash would evolve into a chaotic and brutal melee, with warriors fighting fiercely in close quarters. The noise of muskets, arrows and swords filled the air as soldiers engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat. As the day wore on, the tide turned decisively in favour of Tokugawa Ieyasu. His superior positioning, combined with the defections from Mitsunari's forces, allowed his army to overwhelm the Western army. Tadaoki commanded 5,000 men during the battle, and he clashed with the famous samurai Shima Sakon, who was killed in action. The aftermath of the Battle of Segigahara was marked by widespread bloodshed as the Tokugawa forces hunted down and executed remnants of the Western Army. It is estimated that tens of thousands of soldiers and civilians lost their lives in the conflict. In the end, the Tokugawa forces got the victory, and Ieyasu ascended to the position of Shogun. By the year 1611, Tadaoki was now extremely powerful and had received the Kumamoto domain from Ieyasu as a reward after the Battle of Segigahara. Tadaoki invited Miyamoto Musashi, a renowned warrior who had popularized his unique double-bladed swordsmanship skills, and who was also undefeated in duels to his court. Tadaoki, a man of culture, a martial artist, and a samurai warrior, would learn further skills from Musashi. Tadaoki's son, Tadatoshi, was impressed by Musashi and asked him to fight the Swordmaster of the Fief. Despite the Swordmaster's prowess, he could not land a single strike against Musashi after numerous bouts. Lord Tadatoshi then took over, but he too was powerless against Musashi. He then said, I never imagined there could be such a difference in levels of accomplishment. In the year 1620, Tadaoki retired, and handed the position of head of the clan to his son, 
Tadatoshi. Only one threat remained to the Tokugawa shogunate, and that was the son of Toyotomi Hideyoshi, named Hideyori. Yodo Dono, Hideyori's mother, had failed to pay Ieyasu homage as shogun, as Hideyori was gathering ronin and samurai to his castle. Hideyori saw himself as the legitimate ruler of Japan, with the Tokugawa clan usurping his birthright. This would culminate in the siege of Osaka Castle in the year 1615. The siege resulted in a fierce and bloody battle, with intense fighting both inside and outside the castle. As the situation grew increasingly dire, Yodo Dono and Hideyori found themselves besieged within Osaka Castle, hearing nothing but cannon fire and gunshots. Yodo Dono made the heart-wrenching decision to take her own life, fearing capture or execution by the Tokugawa forces. She committed suicide followed by Hideyori, who also chose to end his life rather than surrender. Their bodies were then consumed by the inferno, as Osaka Castle was ignited in flames. At the age of 83, Tadaoki passed away, hailing from a distinguished samurai lineage. Hosokawa Tadaoki traversed the Sengoku era as a valiant military commander, being the veteran of many battles. He is often overshadowed in history due to the fame of his wife Akechi Tama, but Tadaoki was a warrior, a poet, martial artist, a painter, and a man who wished to gather knowledge. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you all soon for another History Profile.